Hello, it's Mr. Roth. Here's another practice video for you. This one's for the trombone. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> things I want to point out about playing this. Number one, you'll notice that I have a valve on my trombone. I didn't use it at all in playing that. If I did, I'd be able to play sixth position uh, right here just with the valve. <laughs> be able to play seventh position with the valve on and second position actually a little bit lower than that. Anyway, um, you'll also notice that I played F in sixth position when I went to from F to B and back because that's a lot easier than quickly going from first position all the way to seventh position. Another thing I want to point out about reaching seventh position is that I brought the slide between my fingers so I could extend my wrist all the way. Normally you hold the slide between thumb and two fingers. This lets you go all the way into seventh position or as close as possible if you have shorter arms. Next, I wanna talk about slurs on the trombone. We have that slur marking. For most instruments, that means they don't re-articulate at all on a trumpet. Ta only articulate the first note, but on trombone, you still have to articulate just very lightly. Ta -da -da. Another thing I want to point out, just off frame, I have the Bandmate Tuner app. I will uh, also include this in the description, but it shows you what note you're playing. You can do this with any instrument. It uh, has an option to select an instrument here. You can see just about every instrument is available there. Anyway, you can select your instrument and it will tell you what note you're playing. Also, it'll even tell you if it's a little bit too high, a little bit too sharp. That means that this will be a little on this side or a little bit too low down to this side. Uh, I use that to see if I'm in tune. You can use it to see if you're in tune, if you're playing the correct note, because in first position, you can play any number of notes. See if I can uh, hold this and play the trombone, I can show you. Well, it looks like it's not reading that high, but the point is, there are lots of notes in between. Uh, maybe it doesn't read that one either. So, you can use this app to check yourself to make sure that you're playing the correct first position note. Next, I want to remind you to always sit with tall posture when you're playing, or if you're standing to play, to stand with tall posture. As tall as you can be is what I always say. This is not a, as tall as I can be. Boom. Automatically four inches higher. Uh, taller, that is. Next, remember, you're always going to make mistakes. Nothing you ever play will be perfect. When you do make a mistake, just keep going. Do your best. Keep improving. And have some fun along the way. Now, speaking of having some fun, I'm going to play this except much faster. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Let's see how it goes. One, two, three. Da -da -da.
I bet I could even play it faster if I tried. Now I have to show you, if you're hearing these noises in the background, that is my wonderful dog, Harry. Let's see him. There he is. Say hello to Harry. All right, well, with that, that's the end of my practice video for today. And uh, keep practicing, keep improving, and have some fun.